It's a five-star overall safety rating for the 2020 Mazda 3 from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. And this applies to both the hatchback and the four-door sedan and front or all-wheel drive versions. Mazda sold over 50,000 Mazda 3s last year, which made it the automaker's number two nameplate, though well behind the CX-5, which moved 154,000 units. Mazda's entry-level compact, which had a dramatic redesign last year, notched five-star ratings across the board, so frontal crash, side crash, and rollover crash tests. It's also been named a Top Safety Pick Plus by the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety, with top scores on all crash tests and ease of use of the latch child seat system. Mazda decided to make its eye active sense safety technology system standard on the three for 2020. It covers National Highway Traffic Safety Administration's recommendations of having forward collision warning, lane departure warning, crash imminent braking and dynamic brake support. And it adds features like blind spot monitoring, driver attention alert, automatic on off LED headlights and rain sensing windshield wipers. This fourth generation car also got a stiffer body with a tenfold increase in high strength steel and a revamped suspension. The 2020 Mazda 3 is currently on sale with an MSRP of $21,500. To find the best deals on a Mazda 3 in your zip code, use my go-to website for the best deals and free quotes by clicking the link in the description below. You'll also find an archive of all of my Mazda videos and reviews, including the Mazda 3. One more thing before you go, I've added links in the description below to some of the best-selling automotive accessories and products on Amazon right now, plus links to some of the product reviews I've done, you can find it in the description below this video. And if you don't mind, take a couple of seconds and click that subscribe button. I'm uploading two, three, sometimes four new videos every week, and I don't want you to miss anything, plus it helps support my channel. As always, if you have any constructive criticism, thoughts, or suggestions about my video, please leave it in the comment section below.